hear it. Like, you don't want to pretend we're not in a car. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're, we're not going to pretend that we're not in a car. No, um, we're in a car. We're in a car today. Driving up the West Side Highway. In New York City. It's exciting. Whoa. So, I thought it would be a perfect time to talk about things to do in the car. Not have coffee. This is not that show. This is 101 Ways to Heal That Shit. So, things to do in your car. One thing that is very helpful to do in your car, because nobody can see you, uh, is to scream. I'm not going to do that right now into this microphone. <laughs> I appreciate that because I'm wearing the headphones. <laughs> because, but um, many times, especially with child sexual abuse, rape, domestic violence, or you know what, any trauma that you've been through, you're holding it in your body. And we remain silent. How's this? And, and, uh, and does, was that your coffee spilling? I hope not. This is not that show. <laughs> I thought we were doing carpool karaoke. I was going to start singing. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Seriously, back to screaming. What would be good actually is if we just wait till we're over these bumpy bumps because that's actually too many bumps. Like it's not going to be like this is just the bridge. Right, let's get off this bridge. It's like bump, bump. This would be good for carpool karaoke. Like, like, uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, we go. Okay, start again. So, a really great thing to do in the car you're driving obviously when you're safe it's better you know out in the country when you're alone on some road uh or stuck in traffic on or stuck in tra- okay you could do that although people can see you um is to scream or to pull off somewhere where nobody you know park somewhere garage like whatever wherever you feel safe and obviously you're not going to cause a, a wreck or an accident you know you, you're you safely do this go find a place to park um is to scream. It's a perfect place to scream. There's, um, oh, our GPS is talking to us. Sorry. That is actually good because I wasn't paying the slightest attention That's to where right. we were going. I'm okay. going to turn her off though. I'm going to silence no. this. Oh, moment. silence it. Yeah. Yes, I can just watch it. So in your car, you can scream. Another great place to scream is in a closet. You know, some of you are already in the closet. You could, um, I call it the scream closet. If you go into a a closet and shove all of the clothes, like, in a lump, like, you know, reach in like you're going to hug it and stick your face in there, lump, um, stick your face in there, you just, and scream bloody murder, it's a great way to muffle it if you're at home, right? So, and I'm telling you, if you are anxiety-ridden, freaking out, freaking pissed off at your whatever put insert word you know name into the blank whether it's your partner or your spouse or yourself life or self or whatever we we definitely hold a lot of stuff in our body and a great way to release it is literally to scream um and you could do a scream closet or in your car and like what one of the things like here's a here's a perfect example like we have like a, a kind of a cool um drive and at some there's going to be pockets of um, safe driving you know where I'm not like right up against a car and you can just do you see that police officer I do okay. hello police officer ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway the point is to it's a great safe space obviously you, you know insert the the very uh, fancy um, actually we should insert you right here reading the disclaimer as long as you're safe and you have la 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 and your airbags are you're not going to cause an accident blah 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 Thank you so much for listening to today's podcast. I just want to remind you that the advice that's being given today is not sanctioned by the highway and vehicle organization of your <laughs> local jurisdiction a faster. or the state police officers that are may be driving us. by at any moment. They're following us. Well, they're a bit concerned. You were screaming. <laughs> 
Anyway, the point is, if you could just be sure that you're driving in a safe car with your seatbelt on and following the road in a in a relatively straight line and not you're going around the corner, then that <laughs> here's a sign: narrow roads ahead. Yeah, no shit. Oh. Now, can I just can I just sort of interject with the Well, with of the, course, that's why you're here. That's why you're integral to healing that shit. I love that I'm integral to something. It's a good word. Finally. So if yes, you're going to scream in the car, but what soundtrack would you do it to? What song could why you have, have playing in the background? No, of course you don't have to have a song, but I started thinking about it when you were talking about screaming and I was like, is there actually some music some that would help that's a, a different healing. Way. That's a different healing technique altogether. That's like show number four, fifty-seven. We're at show number whatever we are. Okay, sorry. Screaming. It doesn't. Ha- it could. I mean, you could put on some like heavy, uh, intense metal. Or like like Billie Holiday, <laughs> Sarah Vaughan. <laughs> but the, the point is actually, if you test this, and I really encourage it, it usually. Definitely for me, every single time I've ever done it, it leads to laughter. Because you are... So that kind of laughter with tears pouring down your face. Maybe. So it's like if you still were married to some kind of music that you're doing it, you're actually switching your brain. Like you're changing your neural pathways. Like for, um, so you're going to get out of the mood you're in. So, and, you know. So I, I recommend silence. Just go scream closet or scream in your car. And again, with a lot of this stuff, you might think that it it's like, oh, I'm not even going to bother. I'm not going to do that. I'm so ragingly pissed off. It's not going to work. And I'm telling you, like, just do it. If you're like listening to a podcast, do it together right now. So one of the things that we used to do in uh, one of the acting classes that I took was to inhale white light or blue light some some you know beautiful light when you breathe in and then when you scream imagine that you're letting out blackness oh, right good. imagine that you're that you're spewing <laughs> something toxic well, you from are. your body which is exactly what you're doing yes but actually visualize that allow well but don't close your eyes if you're driving but just just visualize that and Oh, look, someone just texted us. Mm. Somebody's listening. <laughs> so, yeah, so just visualize breathing in beauty, wonderful, positive things, white light, beautiful, radiant light, and as, as deep as you can, and then screaming out all this toxic, black pain. Okay, I'm going to do it. Ready? Okay, I'm hold, just going to take the headphones that, on. Before, we'll just off. move that thing away. Like, move the mic away. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like okay. That. Okay, right. okay. I'm going to do it. Okay. Maybe further away. Should I take the headphones off? Oh, you think I should keep them on just Okay, okay. I'll keep them on. I'll be okay. That's not a scream. That's like, that's like, a, that's like a muppet squealing. That's like a muppet that stubbed its toe. <laughs> that's not a no, you're too. You're you're being self-conscious because I'm here. That's why we do things alone. Alone in a car. In a car. That is. Here, you take this. <laughs> Hold this a sec. <coughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. Oh, I should take these off. Oh God. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> that sounds like a muffin. <laughs> that's that's a muffin that spilled hot coffee in her lap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I do feel good though actually right no that was that I actually, actually do feel like my that was quite hurts. therapeutic hang on I'm just going to do it again oh. hold, this. <laughs> hold, hold on hold on hold on hold on this is like like survivor couple karaoke <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, don't, t- don't talk about touching that thing. I think I need a hold. <laughs> like a, 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 a lozenge? A, a lozenge. A lozenge. I think sponsor. I need a lozenge. It does hurt your throat a little bit. But don't you feel better? It actually, like, you're not thinking about what we, what was upsetting you, right? Well, I think I need a sip of tea. Hang on a sec. 
I'm definitely not thinking about what was upsetting me. Right? <clears throat> I'm going to take a sip. But all joking aside, yeah. <clears throat> all joking aside, it's a great way of getting shit out. Dealing with some shit. It's one of the many ways you can heal your shit. Or that shit. Or our shit. Well, one of the many steps towards healing your shit. That shit. You might need to scream because of your work or your family or yourself or whatever. And now I have actually been to big corporations that have cry rooms. Why don't they have anger rooms? There's no anger room. Would you want to work for a corporation that has a cry room? (laughs) (laughs) Could you imagine going on that interview? Can you act it out? I'd be be like, like I'd be there at a job interview. Right? And I'd be like, wow, these people seem really nice, and wow, it's a lovely office, and whatever it is. And, and then like, they'd be like, yes, and we have a cry room. <laughs> and you're like, what are I, you going to do to me? <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'd be like, okay, it's been, you, look, you seem like really lovely people. And I really, you know, it's my dream job. But um, where's the door? That's okay, thanks. Thank you so much. I think I'll leave you in your cry room. And you right? actually, instead of walking through the exit, you walk to the cry room door, and then you walk. Yeah, I go in there. cry. For, go, <laughs> you see people cry in there crying. Um, no, no, I should make fun of it though. It's very nice of them to do that. Do they have anger uh, management? But there is. There are not anger rooms. Yes, yeah, so management's in the anger room, like <laughs> hitting on the walls and throwing plates because they've hired too many criers. Criers, right? Everyone's in the cry room. They're, they have them at universities too. That makes cry sense. Rooms. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. I don't mean to make fun of it. It's actually very good. Well, they're honoring, like, you're giving you a safe space to have, be emotional, but it's like, you don't know. Yes, crying, that is one of the many ways to heal your shit, uh, is to literally cry it out. We could do that in another episode together. But another really important one is releasing it, releasing anger and rage from your body, just like releasing it. And when I was traveling, consistently that um, and speaking to survivors and meeting uh, people in person the number t- the the two most important or like biggest issues people had were either a fear of crying and like touching it like because they felt like oh my god if I start crying I'm never gonna stop right. or this one we're talking about is uh, is anger and rage and if I touch it, I'm going to become a Tasmanian devil, and I'm fearful if I if I open that well, I'm going to never come back. But we just, I just screamed. I know you were trying to say something. I just screamed, and it was like you in because your throat hurts. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, okay, so so when you think about, we all know people, and, and, and maybe this applies to everyone to some extent, and to other survivors more so, is that just functioning in the world in a an adult successful adult way is extremely difficult and yes you 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 touched on that like if 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 i open this door if i start crying now i'm 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 going to just be a big mess right so you end up with this pent-up holding yourself together which you have to do right if you want to have successful social interactions with people where you're not a big hot mess or if you want to hold down a job successfully you actually need to hold yourself together. If you want to keep a relationship, I do recall you mentioning that at one, in one episode that you had a relationship and you um, lost it crying when you saw the kid get on the, the pony. Yes, yes. So that wasn't, I mean, and, and <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I actually have a lot of compassion for her. Right, because she's looking this thing going okay so I, I just got in a new relationship with someone who I don't know that well and, and they're, they're crying. actually crying in front they of need me a cry and room. clearly they haven't dealt with their shit yet cut and to me I'm like breaking shit and stuff and they're like wow she needs an anger room yeah it's true um, so there, is, there are no anger rooms at, in the college's campuses, and there are no anger rooms at, in the corporations. You can cry. And so you, you do could, need to hold your shit together a lot. And you have to. So right? you, you do actually have to. You so. could scream on the way to work. Certainly on the way back from work. Unless <laughs> you work in New York City and you ride the subway oh, yeah. to and from work. Then, then I mean, you'd probably fit in. You could go home and do the scream closet at home. 
shove your clothes together. Right. But I, I think there are also, there are other things we can do on the subway. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that other episodes. Screaming. Yes. That's other episodes. Right. This right. is, uh, yeah, scream, screaming. Screaming in the car. Screaming in the car with friends. <laughs> it's like couple karaoke for survivors. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, this is a shit show. <laughs> it's a shit show. Hopefully, it's not a shitty show. Hopefully, it is helpful information. I feel better. Do if it's better? not, we can just scream. <laughs> so, so again, I do just want to add in a little disclaimer that saying thank you so much for listening to us, especially while we scream. Uh, but if you are going to scream in a car please either pull over and put it in park or keep your hands firmly on the steering wheel and very much your eyes open and keep very much aware of the fact that you're driving. Yeah, don't do it in traffic when you're next to people, you know. Of course, you, I guess you could do that. We'll totally do that. Quite entertaining, actually. Good on road trips, screaming in road trips, you know, mm-hmm. drive out of the city, have a little moment. Actually, uh, shameless self-plug here on uh, the movie The Hammer coming out check it out Um, my dear friend Andy Doc Dixon who the movie is about would drive uh, it's not in the movie it's in a TV show that we have that's another project but um, he would drive out of the city and have his moment with God he called it where he would do similar things where he would scream and let it out and then he would end up writing a song oh that's beautiful I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I need a lozenge. Yeah, me too. Little side commercial. You got to check out eagleonthealbatross.com and check out our store. Allie is a freaking genius. She surprised me with that amber backpack that I am absolutely in love with. And the mug. The hot mug. Oh my God. I I can't even get enough of it. It's hot. You're hot. Uh, so that's a little little uh, commercial. Eagle and the Albatross. Check out the store. Get a backpack. Represent. Whoa. <laughs>